hey guys welcome back to my channel as you already know today we'll be doing a review on the armani my way parfum i think this is like the fourth flanker in the lineup and then you have the my way the original my way the my way intense the my way floral and this one i think there may be like one or two other ones of course we have to talk a little bit about the bottle so the boxes for each of these fragrance looks pretty much the same but the bottle for this one is slightly different because it's blue the other ones are like clear and uh, you know you have the little Giorgio Armani detail going on here so the bottle is blue and the juice or the fragrance is pink so it gives it a nice little I don't know like a little it has like a nice little cocktail kind of situation going on so i like that and of course we're gonna talk about pricing they have this in like i believe three different sizes they have the one fluid ounce the 1.7 fluid ounce and then the three fluid ounces which is this size and this size retails for 186 before taxes it's giving like niche fragrance like it's like almost right up there but I will say because it's a parfum, it does have a higher concentration. Let me know in the comments, are you willing to look the other way because of the high concentration of the fragrance oil or not? Because like 186 and it's not a niche perfume? That's kind of pushing it, but again, to each his own, I love it. Another thing that I really like about this fragrance is once it's done, you could just go ahead and get a refill. And you could get a refill, a 3.3 ounce refill for $155. So, I mean, you can't beat that. For all the eco-conscious people, you might like that about this one. So let's go ahead and see what the fragrance smells like. The first thing you're gonna get is that strong tuberose. So if you're not a fan of that, you might wanna stay clear of that, but it doesn't get overly sweet because the cedar wood comes in and also you immediately get the the bitter orange so if you're not a fan of those two and it's raining outside hopefully it's not too loud on the video I did not put my mic on or whatever but anyways you're gonna progress but yeah immediately the tuberose and the bitter orange that's what you get. Um, but let me go and tell you what the notes in the fragrance are. So the top notes are orange blossom, bitter orange, and Calibrian bergamot. The middle notes are Aris Polito, Indian tuberose, Umbridge, like musk mellow, musk mellow. And the base notes are white musk, bourbon vanilla, and cedar. So the accords in the fragrance are white floral, musky, citrus, tuberose, powdery, animalic, floral, woody, vanilla, sweet. Ah oh man, that the tuberose and the bitter orange, the cedar wood definitely helps to tame the bitter wood down. Okay, so of course you have to touch on the mood. When would you wear this fragrance? I'd more than like to wear this for a nighttime kind of vibes because immediately the opening is super, super, super strong. I mean, you can wear it for daytime too because once it dries down, it's not that overpowering, but like immediately, it's very strong. And it's also giving like very spring and summer because of the floral nature of the fragrance. Also, this is a fragrance that I would pull for if I want to put something on, that's definitely gonna last. The longevity on this one is really, really good. I have to say that. I mean, well, for $185, like, that is to be expected. So, it did not disappoint in that regard. If I were to rate this on a scale of 1 to 10, in terms of longevity, this is a 10. I'm telling you, this is a win if you want something that's gonna last. So, if you watched my previous videos, you'd have seen when I smelled the original My Way, and that's what I actually, I really liked it. This is like, it's sweet, but not as sweet as the original My Way, which I still like, but this one was, an, it was an easy win. I would say Amarni definitely hit the spot with this one. If you're gonna charge almost niche prices, you better come correct. And I have to say, they delivered on this one. It could easily rival some of the niche fragrances out there. Of course, this is a compliment getting fragrance, but I mean, I'm pretty sure you guys already know that. The Armani lineup, uh, they're, <laughs> they're kind of onto something and they know it because like 
A designer is not gonna make um, a designer is not gonna make a ton of flankers for a fragrance that is not doing well. So the fact that there are so many flankers, eh, that alone should tell us something, right? But yeah, if you want something that'll definitely last long, that will get you some compliments, that will dry down and not dry down into like a skin scent, but will still have a decent bubble going on and this is definitely a fragrance that you should try if you like the original my way but you want something a little bit stronger with a higher concentration try this one and you won't be disappointed don't forget to like comment and subscribe to see what fragrance i'll be reviewing next later click the link to subs click click this icon i think it's right here